So, hello everybody, what is going on? It is Kibishimaki here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Emerald! Last time, well, we went ahead and got our first gym badge and made way onto Route 116, where we saw that a Team Aqua Grunt had stolen from Devon once more, and we had to give chase in hopes of, uh, well, recovering whatever the item was. This time, well, we don't have much more to do except to give chase to that, uh, Devon, or not that Devon, uh, that's Aqua Grunt, and see just what lies ahead for us. There's a, uh, X Vessel there. See our repel effect we're off, and that's perfect because a Pokemon of high interest is coming up. First, let's see what this man has to say. Oh, what am I to do? We're on our walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Roar, Pico! Let's head on inside, and we enter Rust Turf Tunnel. There is but only one encounter in here, unless you have Rock Smash, but only one encounter. And that one encounter, of course you can find it in Route 116, but it is way rarer. Here it is a 100% chance of finding. Let's run around until we find it. Our new member and the new encounter is... Wismer! Wismer is definitely an interesting sword to bring along. It's, I believe it can only have that ability, soundproof. Wismer, as a Pokemon, is a pure normal type and can be a pretty w powerful one coming up. What? Are you coming? Come and get some then. Takes a step back. We're not going to approach him yet. We're going to try and catch a new ally first. Huh. Wismer. Steve can show up to be a pretty high level, so let's see how well we do in trying to catch this one. Wismer, as I mentioned before, is a pure normal type, having soundproof for the ability, meaning you cannot um, hit it with any sound-based attacks or sound-based step moves. So if I tried using Growl, soundproof would completely avoid it, as well as moves like uh, Screech, uh, Uproar, what else? I think. Grass Whistle in later games and so forth and so forth. Wismer evolves, I believe, around 18 into Loudred. Wismer as a Pokemon is pretty powerful. It's a pretty good uh, physical and special attacker and can be decently fast. Not the fastest, but decently enough. Wismer the Whisper Pokemon. Its cries equal a jet plane in volume. It inhales through its ear canals. Because of this system, it can cry continually without having to catch its breath. Yeesh. I'm gonna give it a nickname, of course, and even though this might not be the most creative, I say it's pretty fitting. Let's call it Krakatoa. Of course, originally I called this thing Markiplier because, well, it's pink, or its shiny form is pink, but and I thought it was just a little play on words. We have ourselves a modest Wismer. That is plus special attack minus attack. That could be pretty good, considering that since it's a normal type, it can learn a lot of varying type moves. It can serve pretty well as a special attacker and a physical attacker. Though this game, since the physical special split hasn't happened yet, it serves better as a physical attacker, if anything. Uh, we'll stick with it. Might as well. We have no real choice. Well, we do, but I'd rather just not worry about it. Let's go and let's heal up our brand new partner. There we go. Let's give them an Orenberry, because why not? And no, I did not want to check a tag, I wanted to use an Orenberry as well. Let's use Wismer right off the bat in our first new battle. Grah! Keel haul it all! That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. To think I made a getaway. In this tunnel to nowhere! Hey! You! So you want to battle me? Let's go again. Let's tackle the Team Walker Run, the same one from earlier. They are starting off with a Poochiana and having only a Poochiana. Much higher level this time, being level 11. Don't use your psychic types, of course. They're not going to do much. You're better off using, well, any other typing. You got bug type moves, that'd be great. You got fighting type moves somehow, that'd be even better. Ah. <sighs> Do what we can and see how well we fare against this thing. Go. Pound once more. 
Yeesh, that did a lot of damage. Oh no. Hound. At least our orange barrier will help us recover a good chunk, but won't do much if we keep missing. Hound again. Oh my goodness, he's really just gonna go for a KO. Boom. I think it's best if we switch. I'm not gonna chance of losing Krakatoa right off the bat. I definitely want to try to get good experience on all of them, so just keep it going, keep it an honest try. Quick attack. And there we go. At level 7. Perfect. My career in crime comes to a dead end. Yes, it does. But um, This is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devon. You wanted to spack that badly? Take it! You received the Devon goods. Let me save this man's darling Pico. Pico! I'm glad. Am I glad to see you're safe? Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Well, I'm Isaac. Ah, so you are Isaac. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Petterburg Woods. Come, Pico. We should make our way home. Pico! And there we go. Boom. Clear it up just like as we had hoped. Not very much more for us to worry about, except to make our way out. Roar! That goofy goon hightailed it out of the tunnel. I could go back to Diggy. If we tried coming here earlier, he would have been trying to dig his way through that tunnel to get to Verdanter. I don't think any of these guys will heal, but I'm just gonna check anyways. First, this huge work crew boring through with the latest machinery, but we had to stop. Turns out that we would have a negative effect on a lot of Pokemon in the area, so we've got nothing to do but loll around here doing nothing. This man digging his way to Vernon Survival by his lonesome. He's desperate to get through. He says if he digs a little by little without using machines, he won't disturb Pokemon and he'll avoid harming the natural environment. I wonder if he made it through yet. He almost did. Let's go ahead and let's use another potion. Huh. And now we have nothing more but to make our way back, but not without a few trainer battles along the way. Oh damn it, I didn't fucking... I didn't teach, <laughs> I didn't use cut yet, I'm dumb. Teach a danger slave, there we go. Now we're ready. Just cut right away. Perfect. Let's get to fighting some trainers. Just so you know, I've never once been bested by anyone at anything. When you lay your eyes on my Pokemon's gorgeous fur, their beauty will render you helpless. <sighs> Another automatic difference between uh, Ruby Sapphire and Emerald. Ruby Sapphire, there was only two trainers here for you to fight. Meanwhile, here in Emerald, we get four. Since double battles were introduced the last game, they decided to ramp it up this game and add in some various trainer battles or double battles here and there. They quite literally gave you two trainers to fight at the same time instead of having a fixed single uh, trainer set of two. So, pretty interesting, pretty cool, if I have to admit. Just go on, let's leave this to Venus and Krakatoa to deal all the damage they can. And not worry about anything else. And not worry about too much. You're probably going to heal right now, if anything. Yep. Because it is a lady and a rich boy, so of course they're going to just sap their health back to full and keep themselves alive because they're greedy because that's what they do <sighs> his defense fell pound again pound once more fusion on the other one there we go I knew you were going to go down decent experience oh you have two Pokemon in each okay interesting Pound. Go, we're gonna use Absorb, which is a fair estimate, I guess. Pound. Con Actually, let me do it the other way around. Pound on you, Confusion on you. <sighs> There's no point in having Venus attack the Puchiana, because Venus can't do any damage to it. Cracket Avoid level 8. Nice. That is the highest level I think you can find it in Rust Surf Tunnel, so if you want to look for it there, 
You can find it at that level pretty easily. <sighs> Pounding confusion once more. Go. I keep using how it's gonna really go for the KO against Krakatoa. So we gotta hurry. Uproar, double team. Just to see if we can avoid. Even though I know it's gonna go for Krakatoa, I want to see what you can. If we can just avoid any damage. So far, nothing yet, but still. Boom. Cause an uproar. Double team again. Uh, excuse me. And we outsped, thankfully. So we're good. And level 9. Hey, that's not bad. We're doing pretty well. Honestly, a bit not super good, but a bit better than I expected. New experience for your baby. Say it isn't so. 3,200 Poké Dollars. That's a lot. Check here. We get ourselves a potion. Perfect. Now let's check our health. Um... Nothing a little Orenberry can't fix. Not damn it. Use. There we go. That's good enough. Over here. I face these two. Well, it turns all those sorts of things in test school. I want to try to test things out for real. Let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is. These two are the normal trainers you would fight in single battles in um, Ruby and Sapphire. So yeah, they kind of changed it up, which is really interesting and really cool. Gives a different change of pace and kind of a new experience to the game if you played Ruby and Sapphire before. Or even if you're playing Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, these are the same trainers you would fight along your way. Of course, I eventually will be playing those games way down the line when I get equipment to record them. But that's a plan for the future, for now, to enjoy our Game Boy and our retro games. And uh, just keep on having some fun with it. <sighs> Go, Meryl is down. Thank you for that. Ah. And Ralph's will be going down next. How dare you die? Hikari! It's not very effective, but it did enough, and that's the focal point. Decent experience, and Krakatoa hits level 10. Buffs all around for HP, and all stats. There we go. Slacked off in school, that's why I lost. Probably. You're a notch above me, I certainly am. Go. Ignore you guys. Or, really just cut these down and move on with my life. Three pinups. Which is awesome. Just those. Do, 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 do. Just those. Nice. And another pen app, I believe. Yes. Jeez, man. I feel real dry, real thirsty. I need gotta be drinking so much water right now. An ether. Pretty sure I skipped like some trainers, so I'll definitely fight them off screen. But what I will note is we are not done quite yet, but we are getting close. Because what comes next is a lot of text. And after that text, we get ourselves a very special item. Let's meet up with the Devon researcher and explain what happened. Oh, how did it go, the Devon goods? You did! You got them back! You really are a great trainer. I know. As my thanks, I'll give you another great bowl. Thank you for that. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Excuse me, please come with me. Follow along, we end up in... This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. If you tried entering this building before, you would be prevented from scaling any further. You'd only be able to enter and explore the first floor where there isn't much except for the receptionist. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us. 
Could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateville? It'd be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, could I count on you to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here for a second? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Now we can have access to the rest of the Devon Research Corporation. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Let's follow along. Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateboard Shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford? I was hoping you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Duford. Yeah, why not? Let's do so. Well, now, the, now you should know that I am a great president. So I'd never be so cheap to ask, to ask you a fair favor for nothing in return. That's so why I want you to have this. We get ourselves the PokéNav. That device. It's a Pokémon Navigation, or PokéNav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the locations of Dufort and Slugport easily. By the way, I've heard that the sinister criminals, Magma and Aqua, I believe, have been making trouble far and wide. I think it would be best if you rest it up before you go on your way. Heals us up. Well then, Isaac, go with caution and care. If you visit the shipyard in Sleaford, you should go see Captain Stern. There we go, we get some idea of what to do. Now, we have nothing more but to go ahead and heal and run back to take care of a couple trainers. Huh, but of course, before that, something else comes along. This man! He's a completely new feature added in to Emerald. Unlike Ruby and Sapphire, you had an, a, a uh, sub-menu in the Pokédex app called Trainer Eyes, where you would be able to see the opponents and if, that you'd be able to rematch, and if they wanted a rematch, well, it's possible that you can. However, here in Emerald, it's slightly different. I've been developing an added feature for the Pokédex app, and it turned out great! Isaac, may I see the Pokédex app? The, the one our president gave you. Hand it over to him. There you go, Isaac. Add a new feature named Match Call to your Pokédex app. Using the match call feature, you can chat with people who have been registered in your Pokédex. Isaac, our president should have been registered in your Pokédex. Test it out. Please give our president a call. Let's go ahead. Let's enter match call. Let's give him a good old call. Oh, Isaac. Since you called me, the Pokédex must be working properly. Other people will be registered, so try calling him up too. Good, good. You seem to be quite happy. Hmm. How could I know that? It's because I'm looking down at you from my office window. Wahahaha. <laughs> See you again. Go. Okay, I'd better get back to work. Please take care, Isaac. Match call, as I mentioned, is completely new. We get to basically register trainers we've battled before, which is what I'm going to be doing off screen, running around and basically registering a bunch of former allies and things like that. Or at least I'm going to try to. I think there's one little fight we have to take care of before I cut this out. I know I should have ended this like a while ago, but hey, it's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, there's really not much else to do. We're fully healed. We have a brand new member on the team. And look who's waiting for us at the entrance. I think we can avoid her completely. No, we cannot. We have no choice. Oh, hi, Isaac. You had a magical feature put on your Pokemon. Let's register each other so we can contact one another anytime. You register me. Oh, by the way, I passed Mr. Priney in Battlework Woods. I guess he's on his way home to his cottage by the sea. How's your Pokédex coming along, Isaac? Mine's looking pretty decent, so... How about a little battle? You just became a trainer, Isaac. I'm not gonna lose. Let's go! Another difference here... Well, aside from... Uh... Ruby and Sapphire is that I believe you wouldn't fight Mei your first time. She'd go over the Pokénab and she'd just say... We have trainer eyes together, so we can keep in touch and blah blah blah. Huh, <sighs> alright. Well... There's not much to do except to battle Mei and see what she's got. If you chose Trico as your starter, she will have herself a Lotad, Water Grass type, uh, level 13, Swift Swim for the ability with the moves Astonish, Growl, Absorb, and Nature Power. Pretty interesting. Um, if you went with. Uh, is there any different? Yeah, if you went with Torchic. She will somehow have a Slugma, level 13 as well, Pure Fire type, Flame Body for the ability with the moves Yawn, Smog, and Ember. Whoa, that did way more damage. 
That's not a good thing. Alright, cool. Thank goodness it calmed down. I need to swap immediately. If you... Oh, wow. That's actually also another difference. Depending on the trainer, too. If it's male or female, she'll have different Pokemon. So, Trico, she'll both have a Lotad. For Torchic, Brendan will have a Slugma. For um, May, she will have a Torkoal, level 13, Pure Fire type. White Smoke for the ability. With the moves Smog, Ember, and Curse. And last but not least is if you chose Mudkip, she would have a Wingle, level 13, Water Flying type. Keen Eye for the ability on both ends. With the moves Growl, Water Gun, Supersonic, and Wing Attack. Shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Pretty straightforward, if anything. Now here's where the real fun comes in. It's her starter. Go back in with Krakatoa just so we can get them some experience. And as for the starter, Torchic, in this case, is level 15, Pure Fire Type, Blaze for the ability with a move Scratch, Growl, Focus Energy, and Ember. This is gonna hurt a lot. Oh, okay, or Kraken just happened. Cool. That's fine, I guess. So let's bring out Venus. Um, if you chose Torchic, she would have a Mudkip, level 15, Pure Water Type, Torrent for the ability, with moves Growl, Mud Slap, Water Gun, and Bide. And if you chose Mudkip, she would have a Trico level 15 pure grass type overgrow for the ability with the moves of Pound, Leer, Absorb, and Quick Attack. My god, this is already looking terrifying. If you can hit yourself, that'd be great. But of course you don't, because this game sucks. Gosh, dang it. I'm really about to lose the first optional fight. This is completely optional, by the way. You could just deny this fight entirely. But of course, leave it to my luck for something terrible to go. Just start using quick attacks. Okay, you're confused. But you don't hit yourself, because this game sucks. And I nearly die for that. Which is friggin' excellent. Let's go on, let's use Bullet Seed. And it only hit two times. Man! Well, looks like we can't beat May now. I'll have to beat her in the next work. <laughs> that sucks. Alright, whatever. That's fine though. I don't mind redoing all this. Jeez, but you guys already know. I'm. God, I'm gonna leave this here. Wow, just leave it to my luck for it to not go right. That sucks. And two crits in the same. Man, this game doesn't like me. Alright, whatever. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you guys continue to enjoy. And I will, of course, see you all next time. <sighs> Peace out, everybody. <sighs> Damn it.